right. Yeah, I'm going to do this quick little review on this knife that I really like. It's the uh, Elk Ridge 271 OC. OC mean orange camo. It's got these three lanyard holes. It's a really tough blade. It's made out of 440 high carbon surgical stainless steel. USA design. Hand custom made in China. So yeah. It's a nice blade. Full tang. Nice little swell at the back of the pommel. Slight little small slow swell in the center. Real slight. And a little swell down in the bottom. It's got a little curve curve here. To uh, take the place of uh, a guard because there's no cross guard. But um it's got plenty of lashing holes on there for lanyards. So that you if you really want to make sure that your hand don't slip down on the blade, you could put a lanyard on there, which is never a bad idea. It's always good to use a lanyard on a knife that's got lanyard holes or a lanyard hole. But um this is a really tough blade. I even did a cut test with it, and in the cut test I made a slight mistake and hit the object that I was using to cut on, even though I sliced through the object like it wasn't even there. But uh the object was that I hit was made out of metal. And uh it knocked some of the, the finish and polish off of the metal, but didn't do anything to the blade. So that's a testament to this surgical steel. High carbon steel. So this was tougher than what I used it what I was using as a stand to slice on, which was a grill. Uh I can't um a yard can't type camping grill so yeah this is a knife that's really strong really tough and it's it, it's a USA design because it's a copy of the Crowell Barker competition chopper which I, at some point I plan to do a review on comparing this one and another one similar to this I wouldn't say it's exactly like it. the blade are, blades are pretty much the same but there's some real mild differences in the knife and I'm doing a review on all three of them together. So uh, look for that. But as for right now, I just wanted to show this one. And you're going to get to see some action of it as well. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can uh, see this knife real good. It's got a little jimp in there. And it's one that once you get it in your hand, you can really appreciate it. You know, it, it has this upswept tip here. Real sharp upswept. It looks real, looks extremely sharp on film, but when you got it in your hand, you can tell that it's not as up, upswept as it looks when it's on the film. The film doesn't do it no justice. The camera doesn't really help it. It's an extremely powerful knife for stabbing as it is for slicing. So yeah, this is one that I really like, and I think that I, if anybody bought one for an economy knife, uh very inexpensively priced they would also appreciate it as well this is one that highly recommended i've seen reviews on it of, of this actual knife on the channel called we all juggle knives and uh the first review i've ever seen on it was just a a, a a tabletop or talking review by joe dooms that he got he did a review on his he had a different color handle but it's the same knife and uh I, those were the videos that inspi inspired me to get it so thanks and uh, have a good day.